Hello, James. You haven't changed. Beer of all places. And he could have come back home with us a bed for him. If he wanted to. And a warm welcome as well? Is that what he told you? That I drove him out? No. Listen, I've been going out of my mind with worry. I even thought he might be dead. Oh, what the hell's he doing here? I called him. He needed to know. Oh, you're going to be well glad that you did. Hello, son. You shouldn't have interfered. Oi, take it easy, lad. Maybe you shouldn't have turned up on my doorstep bleeding to death. But here we are. What are you talking about, bleeding to death? I had a problem. It's been dealt with. What problem? Nothing you need to worry about. Is somebody going to tell me what's going on here? He, um... He got shot. Dear God. You OK? You can see him all right. Now do one. That's not going to happen. Son. Has he even seen a doctor? Of sorts. I'm not going anywhere. I need to know what you're involved with. I don't have to explain anything to you. I'm not even allowed. So you're robbing drug dealers now. This gets better. I'm not sticking around if you're kicking off. Oh, you are not going anywhere. And can you try and do this without losing it? What, I'm overreacting? No. It's not your problem anyway. Like it wasn't my problem when you went missing. Or when you stayed missing. Or when I allowed myself to think I'd lost you for good. I didn't go to give you grief. I went because you didn't want me around. I never said that. Not once. Oh, so all that stuff about not being as good as the others, that was supposed to make me feel good, was it? I just wanted to encourage you, that's all. Oh, well, thanks, but I don't need that kind of encouragement. <clears throat> Look, Kate, you... You two have obviously got lots of stuff to work through, but right now, it's not the time. We, we have to be practical and decide what we're going to do. I'd have thought that's blindingly obvious. We get him to the hospital, we call the police. Whoa, oh. whoa, wait a sec. No, that is seriously a bad idea. If you want to get your life back on track, then you need a clean slate. We call the authorities, we make this right. <laughs> I told you you'd be glad you called him. My dad. You can always count on him to do the right thing. There is something to be said for him. You're not helping. Look, it's not as simple as that. It's as simple as we want to make it. He's in trouble, we can't protect him. We can't stop the thugs and get his life back on track. The police can. If you think I'm just going to wait here while you call the police and wash your hands of me again... No one is calling anyone. Hey. Everything all right? Who are you? I was kind of wondering the same thing. Uh, this is Kane. My other half. And uh, this is Rossi's dad, James. Oh, great, yeah. Why don't you just widen the circle there, tell a few more people, maybe even the idiot who shot him. Well, don't you start. You seem to be well informed. Yeah. Well, he would be. Meaning what? Nothing. Well, it's just that, well, Keane's had a few run-ins with the police before, that's all. What, and you're shacked up with him? All right. Starting to make sense why he turned up here. So I'll be judging me for another time. Who's judging? It's falling into place where we can't behave like normal people. Normal, self-righteous people like you. Do you know what? You're right. This isn't my world. Seems to me it's a problem you're more suited to these days. You can stay here. You can come home with me. My terms. Thanks so much.